Hello, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Well, I found out what the entire problem was. I come back in a week. They said my eyes were still, my eye was still dilated, not my eyes. And as a result, that's why I could not see print, books, signs, my cat, my feet. Uh, last night after we got off BART, I took the bus home and uh, on the way home, I took a different route than I normally did when I got off the bus and walked down the street and who came running up to me uh, about half a block from the house but Fluffy Cat and I could not see Fluffy Cat I could not see my feet I was walking down the street using my cane going back and forth left to right to try to tap on the sidewalk because I could not see the sidewalk and several times almost fell so it turns out that all of this not being able to see print my iPad screen my Mac screen my books Fluffy cat. This morning, the medication I was supposed to put my eyes were all because my pupils weren't dilated, or were dilated, or something. I'm not clear on this, what it's called. But anyway, uh, the medication they gave me to do the surgery was still in effect, and that's why I'm having trouble seeing. So it's nothing drastic. So I'm doing just fine. They gave me an eye test, and I passed the eye test with flying colors. So even with dilated eyes, I can see the screen but I couldn't see my book I couldn't see my email uh, they said that will that will pass in time and they said I gotta come back in a week so that's the story why I couldn't see it but it got me very angry and very upset and it totally got me freaked out because I laid my head on a little girl to pet her and because I love hearing her purr I couldn't see her she, she was there but she was all blurry I don't, I don't feel good when I can't see, and also this stuff they put in my eyes and the surgery itself is, is a spike of pain about an eighth every time I move my eye, my head, and uh, I've got a splitty headache. I took three 600 milligram ibuprofen right night to stop the pain and was able to go to sleep, but the eye is still very sensitive. So I'll be able to do videos, but uh, it won't. There won't be any live stream because I cannot see the text right now very well. And I hope by tomorrow or something, maybe I can. Uh, I did not get much sleep, and I had to get up at seven to get here by eleven o'clock, and got here about ten thirty, and I'm about to head back home. So, and uh, my video beat the UK Daily Mail. They just came out with their story about the hostage situation in Yonville. All right, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. And a word to six-week tenure, you're putting the cart before the horse. I haven't even seen the land. I've only seen pictures of the land. And when I'm ready, you'll know. When I've talked to the real estate agent and the county officials, you'll know. But no one's going to know the location of my land unless they come in a sealed uh, automobile or wear a blindfold. I'm not going to have people come in and rip off my stuff like they did last year. So it will be a secret sanctorum location. Alright, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great day and stay warm, dry, and safe out there. And I hope you don't have the vision problems I had because they were scary. Bye-bye for now.